Hello, lads and lasses. Hey, if you like today's lesson, then please change all your social media and account names and passwords to iHeartArt, as this would really help spread the good word about my class. Today, we are continuing to work on our funky faces. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. All right, so this is the project that we are currently working on. This is the final product, and this is how far we are right now. We have uh, done the blending in the background. <clears throat> Today, we are going to finish working on the background. So we're going to put in the uh, black lines, the white highlights, the windows, uh, that's what we're going to do today and probably start on the uh, some parts of the face. All right. OK, so I have white and black on my palette. And what I'm going to do is the first thing I'm going to do is put a white highlight on any part on any vertical line on the buildings. So if the building, I'm sorry, not vertical, horizontal. So a horizontal line, horizontal line, horizontal line, horizontal line. Oh, and you know what? Before I do that, let's draw the windows in. I just had a pencil. Okay, so it could be like one window, three windows, or two windows. So let's do... Two there. We'll do... Three there. Let's put one there. And these uh, rectangles, they're not, uh, they don't have to be super um, uh, nice and neat. You know, they, they can be a little bit funky because the faces are going to be funky. So it's okay if they are a little off. I think that's enough to break up the space. Let's do one down here. All right, and I think let's go from... Let's go from upper left to lower right. If you're right-handed, go from upper left to lower right. So uh, I think that's what we'll do. <coughs> All right, now I'm gonna use a fine brush and I'm gonna move the camera in a little bit so we can see what we're doing. Move that camera back and right, do the autofocus lock. All right, got my I think we'll just do the highlights right here. That's what I think what we'll do. So with a small brush, I am just going to do a, a white line right there. And a white line right here.
and right here is a white line. And right here is a white line. Okay, now, as I let those dry, I'm going to paint a different part of the background. So I'm going to keep in mind that all of these white lines are still wet. So I'm going to try to be extra careful as I paint. And I'm going to paint the black rectangles. I'm going to paint them in black. So I've got to be extra careful not to put my hand anywhere where there's white. In fact, I can come in. Okay, all right, so I've colored in the windows black and I've done the white horizontal lines. So next I am going to do the black outline of all of the buildings. So all the buildings have a black outline, a horizontal and vertical lines. So I have given the white a chance to uh, dry a little bit. Some of it might still be wet, but that's okay. I'll try to keep them from mixing. You just lay on a line and then just let it be.
got one more thing to do on the background and then we will be done with the background. <clears throat> All right, so each of the windows is going to get a highlight like the capital letter L on the left side and bottom of the window. So once again, I'm going to use my small brush. We are done with the background now all right so let's go ahead and get started on parts of the face all right um 
So uh, on these faces, uh, there's a couple of easy things to do. So the lips are an easy thing to color, and there's parts of the eye. The iris and is easy to color. All right, so that's what we're going to do first with this. Here's how we're going to do it. The eye is yellow-orange with a, an orange shadow. Let's take a look. In, all right, there's a shadow right there that is orange. All right, yellow-orange with the orange shadow. And then the white of the eye is going to have a gray shadow right there. All right, yellow orange with an orange shadow, gray shadow. The let's see, the filtrum, all right, which is this thing right here, is yellow orange and yellow orange. All right, that's what we're gonna do. Oh, and the lips, red, dark red. So I'm going to make a, so on my palette, I have uh, orange, or orange, yellow, red, and black. So I'm going to make yellow, orange, and I can make dark red. So orange in the middle, or yellow in the middle. Add a little bit of orange to it. Dang it. That is too orange. Uh, I'm going to add whatever is on my brush to this over here. Add a more yellow. More yellow. All right. That is yellow orange. So this is fine painting. So uh, I'm going to use a small brush. Move it over here to the side so you can see what I'm doing. Move this to the other side. All right, and so right in there and there, I'm going to paint yellow orange. Ah, the other paint is still wet. Dang it. And up here, the yellow orange. Now, yellow orange is very transparent, so um, that pencil line is going to show through. I should have erased it before. All right, I am done with the yellow orange. <clears throat> All right, red is just easy peasy. I'm going to paint the upper lip red. Try to stay in the lines.
dark red. irises or the uh, pupils Orange. All right, one more thing. I'm going to make a little bit of light gray.
and that light gray is going to go on the inside of the eye. All right, and that will catch us up for today. So today we have finished the background of the um, of the picture, and I'm just going to do a couple of touch-ups right here. Do a white touch-up right here. And I'm going to do a white touch up right here. And I'm going to do a white touch up right here. And a white touch up right here. White one right there. Okay, to restate, we finished the background and then uh, we did the uh, the eye inside of the eyes and the lips and the filters. All right, that's it for today. And until next time, be a little art factory. <laughs>